In this video, we're going to see if my car has a parasitic battery drain. Parasitic drain on your car battery is essentially when your car's electrical system continues to pull energy from your battery. Even if your car is in like sleep mode, for example, locked, keys away from the car, and no lights and accessories on. If you suspect you've, your car's got a battery drain on it, you've probably come out to it a few times and it's been completely flat. So in that case, you need to test your battery health and the charging rate from the alternator. You can see that in a previous video I've done. Um, a couple of things, one well, of the main common things that can cause a battery drain is components still energised. So you've got lights on still, uh, modules and instrument clusters like the dashboard and also relay still powered on. So what we're going to do is first check, uh, do a simple check you can do at home on a multimeter. Um, just the amperage, see what amperage the car's drawing when it's in sleep mode and then after that if we suspect a drain we can, I can show you how you can determine that. To do this test we're just going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a spanner or socket to remove the negative side off the battery terminal, a uh, multimeter, any simple multimeter will do with an amperage setting but I'm using the Curion N2 Neuron, it's a Bluetooth multimeter that goes to my iPad. A uh, screwdriver because we're going to play around with the door locks uh, when the car's in sleep mode. One other bit of advice, if you leave your keys in the ignition always drop the window first before you disconnect the battery because the car will probably lock itself and then your keys are locked inside the car and no one wants that. So I'm just going to be going to start by removing the negative terminal off the battery. So that's always marked with like a minus, uh, a minus symbol, normally black. There we go, removed set to one side. So what I've done, I've got my multimeter plugged in there, I've got my red lead on amperage and black lead on comms and then black lead going to the negative of the battery terminal and the red one going to the actual uh, cable itself so we're still keeping the whole car system uh, in a circuit using the multimeter added it to the circuit. So we've got the curing into uh, app the Bluetooth multimeter linked to the iPad. I'm on amps, DC, and I've got an auto function, range and function on there. Like I said, you can use any multimeter with an amperage setting. My car now, unlocked with the um, the Curian in series, in, in the circuit, I've got 160, about 166 milliamps, so that's way too high, but that's because the car's unlocked. That's not in sleep mode yet. What we'll do, we'll put it in sleep mode and we'll see what it comes down to. Ideally, you want to be seeing 50 milliamps, so 50 milliamps there, or if you're just on amperage, 0 0.05 amps. So what I'm going to do now is lock the car. Uh, so the car's hopefully going to go in sleep mode and we're going to watch the, watch the amperage drop. If, you're, if your car's um, got a sensor on the bonnet, so on the bonnet switch, you should get a screwdriver and push it through the switch so it thinks the bonnet thinks it's shut. Otherwise, you're going to get you're going to see a drain like that because the car thinks the bonnet's open, and it might leave an interior light on or a warning on the dash. So the car's essentially been in sleep mode for about five minutes now. So the car's fully alarmed, as it would be also if it was just parked on the drive overnight. You can see it's dropped down to about 66, yeah, about 66, 67 milliamps. So that's getting low. It's certainly dropping from what it was about 150 milliamps a minute ago. Another thing to remember as well is don't leave the doors open. If you do leave the doors open and you want to test inside the car, gain access to the car, just remember to flick the switches over in the door lock as well so it thinks the door's shut. Well, so I've got three, three point, well, about three points two, going up to four milliamps. So I haven't got a drain at all. There's no drain and cool of this going to flatten my battery in my car overnight. So if you see them more than 50 milliamps, that's a bit alarming. You want it to be under 50 milliamps to stop a drain overnight on your battery. What I'll do now, I'll just show you what I'll do, what will happen when I unlock the car. You see the milliamps shoot up. There we go, so it's already at 1.36 amps. So with my readings back in milliamps, just so you can see, I've got nearly 150 milliamps. So that's three times more than what we need. Um, but that's because the car's unlocked. So I'll show you now what happened when I lock it. The car will gradually go into sleep mode. So the lights just come on, so the car's locked, and it's shot up in amperage, and it's slowly going to start coming down. So from that check, I haven't got a battery drain. 
uh, in sleep mode cars 4 milliamps so you don't want to see more than 50 milliamps if you do chance are you got a battery drain somewhere so if you do see that the next step would be to go across the fuses and we're going to check the voltage drop you're going to see that in a future video so like and subscribe and you'll get a notification when I upload it so most people like to just pull the fuses out until they see the amperage drop but I don't think that's a good idea especially on the modern cars could do further damage so like I said subscribe and you should see it when it comes up so thanks for watching